Hello and welcome to Field Study, an exploration of food and the landscape. This is Forager's Table. Welcome to Forager's Table, the show that shows you how to get the best out of your wild ingredients. Coming up today, we're cooking some lovely wild mackerel and garnishing it with some pickled pennywort. Stay tuned. Pickled pennywort. <laughs> First things first, we want to get this pan nice and hot. With a little bit of preparation, this is a dish that comes together nice and quickly. Uh, we've got a beautiful cast iron here, so whilst we're waiting for that to heat up, let's go back to earlier this morning, where I was out and about foraging for some lovely wool pennywort. So this is Umbelicus repestris, or pennywort, uh, and the other name for it is wall pennywort, and it likes growing on rocky walls like this. You'll also find it on mossy banks, on the edges of woods and things. Um, and you'll often find it growing in a colony, so there'll be lots of little baby ones as well as big ones as well. Uh, and it really is quite unmistakable. It's got these round, penny-shaped leaves uh, which are succulent. They're really, really fleshy, and they give a lovely crunch. Um, and in the middle of the leaf, you've got this, uh, this divot, this dimple in the middle, which is sort of like a belly button, which is where it gets its other name, which is navel wort. Um, so please only pick this if you find a big colony of it growing. Uh, smaller colonies are trying to get themselves established and they're quite slow in doing so. So if you find a small colony, leave it be, move on and find another one somewhere else. <laughs> So the flavour of pennywort is somewhere between lettuce and cucumber and that succulent nature of the leaf uh, just creates an explosion of juice in the mouth. It's really, really thirst quenching. So as you can imagine, it is absolutely lovely in a summer salad, but today we're going to be taking it home and quick pickling it to go on top of our beautiful mackerel fillet. So join me back at Field Study HQ and let's get cooking. <laughs> So we're back at Field Study HQ and we are going to quick pickle this lovely pennywort that we picked. Uh, so first things first, we need to heat up uh, a little bit of vinegar. So this is distilled malt vinegar, so that is going into our pan. <laughs> it's a little bit hotter than I expected. So we're just going to heat that through. And into the pan we need to add uh, just a teaspoonful of fennel seeds. So wild fennel seeds if you've got them, shop bought if you haven't. Uh, hogweed seeds would also work really, really well with this. So we're gonna slowly just bring that up to the heat. So that is just infusing that vinegar with the lovely sort of aniseedy aromatic of the fennel seeds. So once the vinegar's come up to temperature, we need to take it off the heat and let it cool. So it's very important at this stage that we let the vinegar cool before adding it to our pennywort. Now pennywort is a very delicate plant and it will start to wilt and go all floppy and sad if we, uh, if we put the vinegar onto it straight away. So let your pickling solution cool to room temperature and then add it into a container with your pennywort. This in your fridge for four to eight hours and the pennywort will start to take on some of the flavor of that lovely clean vinegar pickling solution. Um, you don't want to leave it for any longer than eight to 12 hours because the, the pennywort will start to wilt and start to break down slightly. Um, so this is best made a few hours before you plan to serve up. Uh, it doesn't keep for very long, but that makes it even more special. So let's move on to the fish and we got these beautiful local mackerel fillets. So first season your mackerel with a little bit of salt. Now this is local salt uh, made from the same beach actually that these fish were caught on. Now we want to be focusing on getting some lovely crispy skin. So, uh, so sear the mackerel skin side down. Now if you push down on it at this point it won't curl up so much. And that's what we want. We want maximum contact with the skin and the pan because that's what's going to give us that lovely crispiness. So when cooking fillets of fish like this, you're going to see that the flesh turns from translucent to opaque, starting from the bottom up. Now, we want it to be opaque pretty much all of the way up with just a little bit on the top uh, that's uncooked. So the skin's starting to get nice and crispy and the smell in here is insane. Uh, the smell of cooking mackerel always takes me back to a family holiday to uh, Croatia when I was a kid and watching the men cook it on the back of the boat and then serve it in nice crusty bread. Oh, beautiful. Now you can see that the fish has gone opaque almost all of the way through. So now is the time to flip it over. Look at that beautiful crispy skin. Serve it with some lentils, some beautiful grains or some couscous and garnish with that lovely pickled pennywort. 
drizzle with some good olive oil and you're good to go. Perfect for lunch or dinner and absolutely delicious with a cold glass of white wine. That's my recipe for wild mackerel and pickled pennywort. So give this recipe a go. If you do, let me know how you get on in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more foraging videos and recipes from this beautiful landscape. Until next week, take care.